the Rode Wireless Go. What do I think about it almost two months later? What's up beautiful people, TJ here with another episode of What The F Stop. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, so today I'm gonna be talking about the Rode Wireless Go. I've had it for almost two months uh, now, and I'm really liking this little piece of equipment. Uh, I use it literally like almost every other day, and it has not failed me. Um, well, it failed me a couple times. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but <laughs> it has not failed me in terms of it not being a user error user being me. Um, but I've used this thing like almost every every day, every other day while I'm shooting my videos and different things like that. And it's so easy, it's so compact, and it's the one of the best purchases I've ever made in terms of camera equipment and things like that. One of the biggest perks that I've seen with the Rode Wireless Go is the ease and the convenience of being able to use the microphone, especially like on my gimbal. So when I'm shooting uh, vlog style shots with either the DJI Ronin S or if I'm using my Weeble Lab, uh, it doesn't throw the balance off. So I can put it on top of the camera and it's not even like it's there's anything on there. I had actually purchased this microphone maybe two months before the Rode Wireless Go mic came out um, because this one right here was a little bit better than the Rode Wireless or the Rode uh, Mic Go, I believe that's what it was called. It was the first one, it's the smaller version of this and it doesn't have the battery and you can't set the gain on it. Um, but I bought that one because I was trying to step up my audio game. I wanted my audio to sound better. I've always used the shotgun mic because the shotgun mic, I always enjoyed the quality of the sound that came out of the shotgun mic. The only problem with the shotgun mic is that obviously if you are away from the camera, um, depending on what lens you're using or depending on what situation you're in, you can sometimes get outside of the range of the microphone. Now, so I have been using this because sometimes when I change my lens out, if I'm further away from the camera, um, you know, if, you, if you're doing like a, a video like this where you're relatively close to the camera, if you're using like a 16 millimeter or something like that, uh, you're not gonna necessarily need uh, a wireless microphone. Uh, actually, one of these probably would give you a little bit better audio if, as long as you were gonna be this close to the camera while you were shooting the entire video. Now, so for consistency purposes, uh, I've been using this Rode Wireless Go mic um, pretty much on every shoot that I do. And that way, whenever I'm doing different uh, audio or different scenes, different things like that, the audio will remain constant. It will always be exactly uh, the same audio. And that's one of the biggest perks that I see with using the Rode Wireless Go um, is, is that consistency in, in your audio. Now, some people don't like using the lapel mic. You don't have to use the lapel mic for this. This is just what I've been using because I like the way that the audio sounds with the uh, lapel mic. So I'm using, um, I don't even think this one is available anymore, but it's an Aperture um, lapel mic, and I'll leave a link to it in the description section below if I can find it, if it's still available. But right now I am waiting on the uh, Rode lav mic. I think I'm gonna be able to get a little bit better audio um, with a, a different lav mic. So this one right here that I'm using, uh, as you can see, it has like this little patch cord, that's what I call it. Um, but really this Aperture uh, lav mic is actually supposed to be used for iPhone. So back in the day, to get my wireless kind of thing, what I used to do is I used to hook this up to my iPhone and I would record audio there and then I have to go in and process the audio afterwards. And you know, it was a big long process. Then I purchased the H1N and I like that. The only thing I didn't like about uh, using the H1N was that I had to go back, I had to have an additional memory card um, and then I would record my audio. Then I have to sync the audio in post and then I'll have to process my audio to make it sound like I want it to sound. Um, so it was just a longer process. And I like this because I can plug this in, I can turn it on on both ends, and I just have my audio automatically synced up with my uh, Sony a6400. Now, so uh, that's all the good stuff about this. Let's talk about you know some of the cons with using uh, a wireless system. Uh, just in general. So one of the biggest cons that I've had is that I have to remember to turn it on. So I'm so used to plugging in my um, microphone and like say it and forget it. So the, with this new mic, I had the same issue because it does, you ha do have to turn this one on and off. So if you turn it on and don't, don't turn it off, your battery will be dead. Uh, if you turn it, don't turn it on, you won't have any audio, especially if it's plugged in, you won't have any audio at all. Um, and so 
I've had that two times happen to me where I've forgotten to turn either the transmitter on or the receiver on um, and I actually lost all my audio. There is no backup. Uh, it's not like if it's not turned on, like you would get the audio from your camera because you, you won't. You know, so that's one of the biggest things that you have to remember. And I have a very absent brain, so it's hard for me sometimes to remember to do everything like I'm supposed to, <laughs> like I'm supposed to do. But that's a user error. That's nothing to do with the actual functionality of this Rode Wireless Go system. So I don't really use the um, the attached lav mic, and I know I've seen a bunch of videos where they talk about the wind windscreen, and I haven't really used it because I, I've been using my lapel mic every time that I try to use it. So one of the interesting things that I really like about the Rode Wireless Go um, is the charging. So one of the things that I really like about the Rode Wireless Go is the battery life. So I've had this thing for almost two months and I swear I've only charged it one time. <laughs> and I use it quite a bit. Uh, obviously, I don't, you know, I'm not using it for hours on the end, um, but whenever I am using it, you know, it's on for at least an hour. I would say, and I've had to charge this thing one time and I don't even think it was dead actually when I charged it. I just, just charged it up because I knew I hadn't charged it in so long. Um, you will have to charge them independently and you will have to have uh, two USB-C connectors. That's what the adapter is to charge this thing. So, you know, that's, some people like minimalism and they like having less, you know, less is more. And I'm just one of those people that as long as it works, I'm good with that. So you do have to have two separate chargers for this. I would have liked if they, you know, made something where you could charge both of them with one um, charger. So like my DJI uh, Mavic Pro 2, it actually has a built in uh, charger for your controller off of the charger for the drone itself. And that way you don't have to have two chargers. You can just plug one thing in and it charges both. Um, so I'm sure the technology is there, but it probably is just cheaper just to throw in uh, two USB-C cables and uh, and use it like that. But I will say that this has been a godsend and this is my favorite yet, especially, you know, this year. So obviously there's gonna be new things come out and there's gonna be, you know, more technology, but Rode is like one of the biggest steeples in my opinion uh, with audio. So I've, I've got several Rode microphones and I enjoy using all of them. Uh, I haven't had any issues with uh, syncing of the audio or any kind of latency um, or even with the transmission of audio. And I, I, I don't really go too far with this um, when I have it hooked up and I do my videos, but um, whenever I did my road test or whenever I did my field test um, a month or so ago, I did walk around the house and it did lose audio, obviously because it wasn't in the line of sight. But whenever I did come back inside, it did automatically pick the audio back up. And um, if you turned your back and you lost your audio, as soon as you turn back around, you know, your audio came back in. So it wasn't like it took a long time for it to reconnect uh, and get that audio back for you. So, you know, depending on what you're using it for, this is gonna be one of the best microphones uh, that you can purchase right now. Um, if you don't have one, or if you were thinking about getting a wireless system, I would go ahead, spend the money uh, and get something that's quality that's gonna work. Uh, I've tried to purchase other systems before in the past that were cheaper because I want to save money. And then you end up having a crap product that you know you have crap audio and then you have to work extra. And uh, it's all about your workflow and it's all about making things easy. Uh, so that's what Rode has done. So have you purchased the Rode Wireless Go? If you have, do you like it? Um, is this something that you would like to purchase? If so, I will leave a link to it in the description section below. I will see you guys on the next one.